100 patients with lung cancer and 100 patients without lung cancer were enrolled in a hypothetical study. They were questioned about tobacco use over the previous 20 years. 90 of the lung cancer patients supported smoking, as did 10 of the patients without lung cancer. So the goal of this study is to figure out the association between smoking and lung cancer. Furthermore, we'd like to calculate some quantitative measure of this association. To do this, though, we'll have to figure out what study type this is. So this particular study uh, describes enrolling patients with lung cancer, enrolling a group of patients without lung cancer. They went backwards in time over the previous 20 years and questioned them about smoking. So this particular study describes a case control study. And the reason I know it's a case control study is because case control studies start with disease, go backwards in time, looking for exposures. So case control studies, the measure of association that we will calculate is called an odds ratio. Um, odds ratios are just that, a ratio of odds. So it'll, in this case, it'll be the odds of being exposed to cigarette smoking if you have lung cancer divided by the odds of being exposed to cigarette smoking if you don't have lung cancer. So we have to plug in some numbers. So by convention on a two by two table, disease status goes across the top. So we'll have a group of patients with lung cancer and a group of patients who don't have lung cancer. And then exposure status goes across the side over here. So we'll have a group of people who smoke and a group of people who don't smoke. And now we just need to fill in the two by two table. So I said I enrolled 100 patients with lung cancer. So the total number of people with lung cancer is 100 and 100 people without lung cancer. And now I told you further that 90 of the people who had lung cancer smoked. So 90 will go in this box. And I also said that 10 of the people um, without lung cancer also smoked. So 10 will go in this box. Everything else has to add up. So 10 will be down here. 90 will be down here. So now we've got our two by two table filled in. Now the easiest thing to remember of the formula for odds ratios is it's what's called the cross products. So we'll multiply these two numbers by each other and divide it by the cross product of these two numbers. There is a much more complex formula relating odds to probabilities and filling it in, but um, I don't want you to get confused in showing the extensive formula of that. It's worth just memorizing cross products of these two boxes divided by these two boxes. So in the numerator we'll have 90 times 90 and in the denominator we'll have the cross product of 10 times 10. And when we work that out this will be 8100 divided by 100 which comes out to 81. So what this means is that if you had lung cancer you were 81 times more likely to smoke than if you didn't have lung cancer. So hopefully this helps you understand how odds ratios are calculated from epidemiologic studies and will help you make sense of these numbers when you read these papers.